very great pleasure to introduce Mark Reeves, to, who's very kindly offered to open this photographic exhibition. And thank you very much, for Mark. Thank you, thank you. So those of you who don't know me, it's nice to see so many familiar and new faces and friends. I'm Mark Reeves, Councillor Mark Reeves. I think it's probably good to start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the country that we're on here. So this was, is, and always will be Gunai Gunai country. It's really important, I think, that we make those acknowledgements because uh, you know, the history of th that particular um, country and those peoples goes back into antiquity. These people uh, who stand in front of you, and all of you, are the people who've done the hard work. And uh, the, the whole notion of, a, of an exhibition like this, called Tributaries, um, that, you know, I love the name because you know, Tributaries is about rivers flowing together and the connections and, and so on. And that's what a community is. It's about all those connections and joining up. And when you look around here and uh, the, the beautiful representation of all these community groups, and, and women that you've been able to document. Now, those organisations, those community groups, are the things that flow through our community, that glue us together. And through thick and thin, through good economic times, bad economic times, when the grass is growing and the farmers are happy, or when the grass is brown, those community groups are the things that glue us together, that really hold us together. And it's really fantastic you've been able to document that. And I love talking to you about how to encourage the community to come into a gallery well, make it personal, take their photos and put their photos yeah. and people will love to come and see them and you've done that and it's really, really, really beautiful. It was one of my dreams just to actually see people in the space amongst the photos and because one of the uh, original ideas, I guess, about the whole exhibition really was to try and bring a range of different people into this space. I think everybody in this town should be really, really proud that about 100 people, I think it's 111 because I went round counting the people, <laughs> are actually represented in the photos that are hanging, let alone the ones on the, on the slideshow. And the population is only around 400. So it's, a, it's about a quarter of the town that are represented in these images. And, and for that number of people to be involved in groups and committees and things, I just think's fantastic. And reiterating what, what Mark said about, you know, being involved and that making the community. There are a few people that I need to thank, and one is you, Mark, so thank you very much for coming up in, in this holiday sort of time and opening the exhibition. Um, thanks, big thanks to the gallery committee and Deirdre and all the people that worked here to keep this beautiful gallery running because that's, that's quite a lot of behind the scenes work. Um, Rick Broadway and Paul Bernard who helped mount and, and print the photographs and my husband who's actually on the way to America at the moment doing his own artistic project. But he made the frames out of some pallets that were donated by Dormit, which was fantastic. And I just think that the frames have added that, you know, a little bit of a sense of character, or, you know, and that local thing, because you probably all look and go, oh, that looks like a pallet, you know, the blue <laughs> colour. Yeah. And I just want to thank Annie, really, for we've never worked together before, and it was just a joy to work with you. And I think we both learned heaps. Um, together, it was a little bit hard communicating from Ballarat to here, but uh, but we did that, and I think that was a good thing about the project as well to just have that interaction across the state. And some of you might not know, but the whole exhibition is going to go to Ballarat and be part of the Ballarat International Photo Biennale. Ballarat's got about a hundred thousand, so this community in amongst the Ballarat community it will be interesting to help people see the exhibition. And, um, but I think largely everybody in the community should be really proud of this because it is what makes the community stick together. Thank you everybody for coming and being so supportive of our community and of me running around asking them if we could take
photos. Everyone's just been so receptive. It makes you want to do it all again, really. And mm. anyone who's got a interest or passion, you know, you should follow it because it'll come out there in the end, you know. It might be 55 or 60 or 70, it doesn't matter. Yeah, great. Thank you.